Hi everyone, let's take a look at the following. Given y equals 2, the square root of 3x, find y double prime. Step 1. Before we can find y double prime, which stands for the second derivative, you have to find y prime, which is the first derivative. Now there are two ways of looking at this, and we'll show you both techniques. I'll divide this into two different columns, and it's up to you which method you prefer to find y prime. Now the first approach is you can rewrite this in terms of the square root of 3 times the square root of x. And of course, y equals to the square root of 3 times x to the power of half. Now, when you find y prime, you take the exponent, half, and you multiply to root 3 from the front. That's going to be root 3 divided by 2 times x to the power of half minus 1 is going to be negative half, which means y prime equals to root 3 divided by 2 times the square root of x. Now, if you did not use the first approach, that's perfectly fine. Here's another method. Before finding y prime, you can rewrite this as 3x in brackets to the power of half. Now, when you find y prime, you bring half to the front, you multiply 3x in brackets to the power of negative half times the derivative of 3x. So again, don't forget the internal derivative, which is the chain rule. Now, when you rewrite this, y prime equals to 3 over 2 times 3x to the power of negative half. If you bring this to the bottom, y prime equals to 3 divided by 2 times the square root of 3x. Now, when you compare them side by side, they don't look the same, but they're actually the same y prime because if you multiply the top and the bottom, by root 3 over root 3, which effectively you're multiplying by 1, look what happens. Root 3 times root 3 is going to be 3. And 3 divided by 3 will give you 1. So now, y prime equals to root 3 divided by 2 root x. And now, if you compare them, they are the same. Now, to find y double prime, here's what you can do. y prime equals to root 3 divided by 2 times x to the power of negative half. So again, you can rewrite this in exponent form. And once you have that, y double prime equals to root 3 over 2 times negative half is going to be negative root 3 over 4 times x to the power of negative 3 over 2. Here comes the final answer, and we'll show it to you in two different ways. y double prime equals to negative root 3 divided by 4 times x to the power of 3 over 2. But if you put this back in radical form, it will be the square root of x cubed. Or you can leave it as negative root 3 divided by 4 times the square root of x to the power of 3. I hope this makes sense.